Bet Mattern. I'm the artist of the Global Rainbow. And I'm Kane Smith. I'm the creative programmer for Cultural Olympiad in Northern Ireland. The Global Rainbow was inspired by a real rainbow that I saw. And uh, I was uh, driving along near a place called Walden Pond in Massachusetts, and I saw this just kind of incredible rainbow, and uh, it changed my life. And I decided, in a kind of an insane way, to create a, a, a virtual rainbow in the same scale of a real rainbow. So that was a journey that, that took about two years to figure out how to do it. Well, as a creative programmer for London 2012, um, it's Cultural Olympiad and upcoming festival in the summer. There's various people who do my job all across the UK, and the one particular colleague of mine, Debbie Lander, who works in the northwest of England, saw uh, Global Rainbow when it was in Berlin as part of a festival there. It was its European premiere, and she came back and she was going mad about it. She says, we have to bring this, this will be great. It'll be a great thing to welcome in the year, rather than doing it in the summer, because obviously it's darker now, and it would be an amazing thing to do, and to do a rainbow at night is such a unique thing. So she said, she told me about it, she told another colleague of ours in the northeast of England, and we decided to collaborate on it and co-commission the project to bring it here to the UK. And it's a couple of weeks ago started in North Tyneside uh, in the northeast of England, and then it went to Preston in the northwest, and now it's closing with us here in Newton Ards as a countdown to our festival in the summer. It's been uh, an unexpected, enormous uh, embrace of incredible response to the rainbow. We had thousands of people pilgrimage to the rainbow. They're like drawn to the light and they just arrived at Whitley Bay and continue to arrive. And, um, the same in Preston and we're kind of uh, hoping and expecting the same response here. It's been amazing um, how it's been totally owned by the Twitter sphere and Facebook and that everybody who's been engaged with the Rainbow Experience have, have been posting their own photographs and the conversation has continued over the last two or three weeks, concluding now in Northern Ireland and even last night when we were just aligning the lasers and testing it, there was already a steady stream of people coming up to see where the light was coming from and already on Twitter and on the radio and everything people are just talking about it and saying, God, this is going to be amazing. So. Um, I think it's going to be very special here. One of the things we're trying to do with the Cultural Olympiad and with its finale of the festival, which continues throughout the summer of the Games uh, from the 21st of June to the 9th of September, one of our main goals is to bring some of the world's best artists to our audiences at home, but also use the opportunity to celebrate some of our own artists on the world stage. Carl Neekillen, Minister for Culture, Arts and Leisure. And I'm Councillor Mervyn Oswald, Mayor of Orange Borough Council. This is uh, Scrabble Golf Club obviously and we are only but another 50 odd feet in terms of getting to Scrabble Tower, one of the iconic buildings in this area obviously where this production is going to take place. And it's beautiful, it's really stunning as soon as you approach the golf club and you see the scenery and you literally come over the hill and it just grips you. These events need to go outside Belfast, absolutely, and when you've got a scene like that that lends itself to an experience like this you know, it just makes sense and why wouldn't it be in Scrabble Tower, you know, for everyone to see from near and afar. So I think it's brilliant. I'm really excited about what it's going to look like. I've got a, an image, but I, I'm looking forward to seeing it first hand. There's always a, a positive and there's a slightly negative as well because somebody would say, um, I felt it was the Aurora Borealis, I think, kicking off last <laughs> night. And then others would say, um, how is that going to affect the flight path of planes? Um, but we, we have complete clearance on that as such. I think that's from CAA. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not too worried about that. But, but we're very lucky that we've got world class artists. They're quite happy to be here with our local talent, who I believe are world class also. I don't mind planes being disrupted for four days because, <laughs> <laughs> because you know what? People will give you a thousand reasons why things can't be done, and we just keep looking for the reasons of how it can be done and go out and do it. So I think it's going to be great. And I just want to praise Arts for the work they've done with Arts Council and our department in making this happen. We were driving around um, in Newton Arts and it kind of, in certain parts you can see it, but as you come up here, we didn't realise that there would be so many people up here. So we're very glad that we did come up here and share it with every, every, everyone else. We'd only seen it when we started to come into Newton Arts. We came from Belfast, we couldn't what see it on the road What did it look like in. from down there? Uh, nothing, we were saying it's oh, that Oh, see right, And then as yeah. soon as we come up. 
fascinating. I thought the lights would have been broader, actually. I'm amazed that there were narrow beams, you know. Well, like, it's a real atmosphere, everyone here, and like kind of cold and lights everywhere. It's really, it's really nice. I think it's a dead disaster. Do you? A waste of red pairs money. <laughs> you seem to be enjoying it <laughs> I think it's actually it's, it's actually fantastic it's wonderful and it's wonderful as well that so many people have come out tonight to actually see it as well I think it looks beautiful absolutely lovely I mean the rainbow itself is such a special experience that it's, it, it defines the landscape but also the landscape defines it so it's got endless numbers of locations it could possibly go to so any experience would be a new experience and hopefully we can do it again sometime in the future